Hello again everybody, welcome back to Lily Lulu. If you're new here, my name is Karen, I'm the Junk Journal Geek and I'm here today to carry on working on this design team project for Sunny Creates. This is using her Delft Blue kit and I will pop all the information you need to find out more in the description box below. So, um, sorry, I'm just trying to sort my mat out. If it's wonky, it distracts me. <laughs> and I've got a piece of paper underneath it to try and flatten it. And um, it's bugging me because everything's not square. So, um, I think I said in the last video that the next time you saw this, it would be a flip through. But it's not because I haven't done any more yet. <laughs> So I want to make a topper for the cover and I've decided I want to use this um, little scrappy heart that I made um, last week, was it? The week before? I can't remember. Um, and I think I want to use this sari silk as a closure. Um, but I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to do that. Um, but my idea is I really want to have um, a nice frothy cover. <laughs> so I want to layer up loads of bits of paper and fabric and buttons. And but I'm, you know, I'm not very good at um, decorating. I overthink everything. So I'm sort of giving myself a bit of a push outside of my comfort zone here. And um, I thought I'd turn the camera on to bring you along with me so that you can see that the struggle is real in case you haven't realized um and so i don't know how long this video is going to be so if it's faffy i apologize in advance um so i've just sort of i've got my pile here of stuff i have been using off to the side um i've just got my box of charms and things out because i used one of these roses um on a piece inside the journal so i thought I might be able to add one of those on the front to sort of bring that all in together, tie it together. I've only got one more of those. Maybe I'll pop both of those to one side. I might use them both. Um, I'm just looking in here to see if there's anything else that grabs me that I might want. And there isn't. So just pop that to one side. So I've got all the bits of... Um, fabric and lace and things that I've been using just popped up here in front of me. I've got some trims and some ribbons and some laces that I've been using in front of me and I so said I've got all the papers and bits off to the side um, and I've got some buttons um, as always. So let's have a dash and see what I can come up with. So I don't really know where to start, to be honest. Um, so I've got all of these fabrics and things. I've got this bit of broderie on glaze that I think I've used somewhere in the journal. Um, these fabrics, where are they? All these bits and pieces that were in the slow stitch kit. I haven't really used any of them. Well, I've used some of them, I think, but not as many as I expected to. Um, so I'm just thinking that I might like to do, you know, a lot of layering of different bits and pieces and then maybe have this on the top somehow. Um, maybe I should cut out some heart shapes of something to, you know, echo that heart. Um, I'm not sure what, so I've got a little flower there with a little bit of trellis, might be able to do something with that. Um, these, I decided I wasn't going to use those, didn't I? So I could use a piece of that possibly. Um, I've got to make sure, yeah, these pieces, I've got to make sure I don't cut those up because they're for the inside cover. So let's put those somewhere where I won't accidentally grab them and cut them up. Um, I've got some bits and pieces left here. How big is that heart? 
I don't, I want torn and sort of scrappy, scruffy bits, I think, if I have any papers on here. Um, for my, up here, for my paper clips, I usually use lace and ribbon when I do these, but this time, I don't know why, but I've used all fabrics and lace. Um, so I was going to pull in some ribbon that I'd used up here and then I realised I haven't used any ribbon up there. <laughs> so right, let's cut that piece of Baudrillard on glaze there. And then I can put that out of the way. I did have a pin in that, I think. What have I done with that? I don't know. Right, so... What else have we got? So one piece of that maybe in the background. Don't really want a piece of the cover fabric, do we? Because we've already got the cover fabric, so we don't need that. Um, oh, that's pretty, that's so delicate. I wonder if that would be nicer than that. So as you can see, I'm just playing around with ideas and um, at some point I will decide that that's enough playing around and I'll decide that's what I'm going to do. Yeah, I think the other one was better on there. It was a bit more, I was going to say it was a bit more standoutable. <laughs> it's a bit more noticeable bit more of a contrast so um oh hello paper come back oh 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 now this scrap of paper i used in the journal i was thinking i should pull in some of the papers i've used in the journal on the front um, got little um no don't like that <clears throat> little frame that's the word I'm looking for some of those tickets I haven't actually used them but they're from the kit labels I should say and um, these I want to save because I'm, I need to make some bits and pieces for the inside or a scrap of paper there what have I got here I've got some tickets from the kit got envelopes here that need to be popped in somewhere more tickets. I like this. Um, somebody sent me this. I quite like that, but I don't know if it would go on there. Now, somewhere I have got some flower. Oh, I've got some flowers here that I popped put into one side. Um, for another journal that I'm making. I'm just wondering if there's anything bluish that would go. Oh, look. A pack of blue dried flowers there. Might best do something with these. And I don't know whether I want, an, you know, a sort of a firm background all this to sit on or I, whether I want to keep it you know the lacy sort of look where you can see the um the fabric below I can't I can't see where these separate they might be nice sort of coming out from the heart let's take that bit of paper off Maybe. I 
can't see where they're joined and where they separate. This feels like it's all one piece, actually. Oh, well, that may be. Maybe we could have a, a great big. No, don't like that. But I might use the, you know, just a little piece, maybe. Or is that not enough? I do like a bit of um, texture and dimension. That's the word I'm looking for. I like a, a bit of dimension on the cover, but I don't want it to be too dimensional because then it's difficult to actually use the book. Um, so I'm sort of bearing that in mind. So I'm just trying to flatten these a little bit because they've got very crumpled. Um, but as I say, if they were on the front of the book, they're probably going to get crumpled anyway, aren't they? So I could maybe have something like that poking out there. I have a feeling that these, um, this heart needs more of a firm, more, more of a solid background just to differentiate it from the um, bits underneath. But I don't know if I want a bit of another piece of fabric under it or maybe some paper um, when I when I work on covers usually um, I take lots of photos and then look at it you know on the camera or, or as a photo because I feel like you get a better feeling for how it's going to look um, but obviously I'm filming so I can't do that Make, makes things a little bit tricky um, let me cut a piece of this Or would I want another heart shape underneath that? I can't tear a heart shape, but I could do a scrappy version of a heart shape. I'll need to straighten that up. I've already gone lumpy there might help if I actually used my fabric scissors instead of grabbing my paper scissors very naughty so how are you all I haven't asked you have I how rude of me I hope you're all well how have you been coping with this storm? The day of filming this um, is the day after we had all those weather warnings in the UK for storm. Is it Aisha or Isha that they called it? It's spelt Aisha, but I'm not sure if it's pronounced Isha. I-S-H-A. It was very windy here, but we didn't have any damage, luckily. Um, what's going on here I'm assuming this will continue to fray this fabric so I don't know if or where I want these roses I don't know do I, oops, do I want some more buttons? Do I want some ribbon? Don't know what I want. Don't know if I like this. My hands are very dry because it's winter. I suffer in the winter with my hands, skin on my hands. So everything's sticking to the 
horrible rough skin. Oh, could maybe pop a piece of that under there. when I've got this how I want it I may well stitch stitch it all together on the sewing machine <clears throat> rather than just sticking it down I feel like we need some things coming down um, ribbon here well I have got ribbon here but have I got the right colour ribbon something's caught on something else Everything's tangled up. That's not good. I, don't, I think I've pulled out all my blue ribbon and put it somewhere useful for working on this journal, but where that is, I do not know. I don't know about that. Um, I've got some of these. This, I used this um, gathered, pleated, can't think of the word I want, piece of fabric um, as tabs in the journal. But I don't think it looks right on the cover. Where is oh, my ribbon? Oh, here's ribbon. I wonder if I could make a little, like tassely dangly sort of bit I don't think I want this in I think that's too um, thick and heavy that's too turquoisey I think these might be too wide as well let's have a look Maybe something like that just coming down. Maybe pop the flowers on the other side. Somehow. I like the idea of this just sort of like streamers just hanging down. And if I could find a biggish button, I could pop that at the top, sort of holding them all. That's too green. I need a flat blue button. Let's put that fabric back up there and that fabric back up there and that paper over there so that we can see what we've got and what we're doing. That's a bit better. That's no good, it's not flat. So I want something flat. I picked this pot up because it happened to have a lot of blue together in here from when my buttons were all in little pots according to colour. But they are no longer in little pots according to colour. something like that but I think I need a bigger button and while I'm here I've seen that button that I like I might pop that on you while I go and rummage for more buttons. Oh, no, it's not the right colour. That... Maybe that would work. So I hope you're getting a bit of an idea of what I'm trying to achieve. 
here. I'm wondering about this ribbon because it's got pink in it as well. Um, so I'm wondering whether to take that out. Um, maybe have a bit of lace in there with the ribbons. else have I got here anything useful oh I've got the buttons that came with the slow stitch kit but these are tiny buttons but there may be something I might want to pop them on here somewhere as decoration possibly got little tiny beads in there as well so I could possibly use some of those um, where's the button that I just had up there? There, it's fallen off. So we would have, is this, I think that might be too turquoisey. We've got some sheer. Just trying to work out which way is the right way round for this lace. I think it goes that way. But I think I want it with the edging at that side. Is this this one's not quite as turquoisey as the other one there's my button just wondering if I should I should have done this before I sewed the signatures in shouldn't I is that all laid flat could I put some paper streamers in there as well no I don't think so I did have, oh, how about some white? Is it too white? And I'm going to have this somehow, somewhere. <laughs> you know what they say, more is more. Just looking to see if I have anything else um, that's more blue to bring into that little streamer. What I could do with is some more of this, isn't it? I seem to have lots of like turquoisey type blues. Um, oh, maybe if we could do something with that. That's obviously a piece from the cover. More or less, aha, uh -huh. have some more of that in there. I've got some more white. I don't really want any more white ribbon. All right, let's pop that out of the way. Now this is the same sari silk, but this has got um, some had some sort of embellishment on it. So, but what I'm thinking is I could use a piece of this. But I could cut it up the middle. make it a bit narrower leave the top attached so now I've got that that oh there's my pin that I was my pin that I was looking for that I then throw on the floor um bit of that, bit of that, bit of a button at the top, something like that. Do I need another piece of sheer something? Or I could have a piece of lace, a narrow piece of lace. 
where I leave a bit of this one left. Now I feel like I need more blue rather than white. And I haven't tried that piece of Roger and Glaze at the back either. Although, oh, I'm just going to pop them in that little pot. Try and put them back, more fingers and thumbs. I was thinking I could have this at the back with a bit of extra blue. That would look quite nice. Um, but also, I could possibly... Oh, oh, <laughs> I'm finding more things. I could put a yo-yo and it'd be like a rosette. Oh yes, I like that, might do that. Right, let's pop that over there. And what I was thinking with this was, instead of the plain white Brodre on glaze, I could have a piece of this across here. Like that, I like that better. So I'm gonna snip that there. Obviously I'm gonna have to trim all these down properly. So then do I want to have a piece of this behind here? No, because then it won't look like a rosette. Right, I'm going to put you on pause while I sew this little lot together. So I'll be back in a minute. OK, I'm back again. So what I did, it's not really in the middle, but um, I stitched each ribbon just with one or two stitches to hold it in place first and then I popped the button on top and I went a little bit too high because I was trying to cover up the ends of the ribbons um, but that's all sewn together now so I just need to neaten the bottoms of these just to make them look a bit prettier It's funny how when you know you start doing things ideas just come to you as you're working it's definitely um a case of you know when you're not you don't when you don't craft for a few days i me in particular i find it really difficult to get going again but then when you're actually working on things then you think oh i could do this oh i could do that that one's already done let's just do that one so this now, this will probably be have, have to be stuck down with hot, oops, hot glue, I would imagine, because it's going to be quite weighty. But that's going to go there. So let's just pop this out of the way for a minute. Um, we'll sort the buttons out later. So that's going to go there. This is going to tie around the journal somehow, but I might do it as like a loose removable tie or I might um, stick it on somewhere maybe on the back so that it doesn't fall off and get lost I don't know I'll think about that but that's going to be my closure so then we need to look at these bits so I think what I might do is um, if I get them you know sort of how I want them And then um, I might just put a little bit of glue stick on each piece to hold it in place. And then I think I will take it to the sewing machine and just stitch all this together. Um, and then it can be glued onto the book. So let's grab some glue stick. Glue stick, where are you? You're hiding. Maybe we will grab some of these. There we go. Yes, we will. And I think once I've got these in place as well, then I will trim the edges. Um, I don't necessarily want them all in a straight line, but this piece is definitely too long. So but let's just pop some glue here and there. 
to hold these together for a minute. Like that. And then a bit on there to hold that. And then once I've got all this glue uh, stitched together and in place where I want it on here, then I can worry about these buttons and bits. Well, I won't glue it down because if I want buttons on, I might want to sew them on before I glue it down. But these will have to be glued on if I use them. So, right, I should be back in a moment. I'm just going to put this under the machine. Right. I've sewn that all together um, I'm not sure how clearly the camera's picking it up but I, what I did was I just stitched along these two pieces um, just with a running stitch just to hold them together at the top because there, there wasn't much there um, to hold everything in place and then round the heart I've just gone round the heart um, three times I think very messily and squiggly I'm not a seamstress um, and I like the way that looks. So that is going to get stuck on there. Um, I will need to snip a lot of these threads off, otherwise it's just gonna get too messy and confusing. So all of those pieces of lace are attached together now. Um, so as I say, that is going to get stuck on there. This is going to get stuck up here and then these will sort of trail off at the side and just be scrummy, I think. Although I could pop that on there as a, no, no, I want it on there. I wanted more, didn't I? I wanted it to be more. So let's, let's stick with that. Um, So that's going to go there like that. That's going to go like there like that. It will be done up at some point with a bow somewhere like that. Um, which will probably hide most of it and it will hold all that in place as well when it's all tied up. So I just need to decide whether I want to sew on any of these buttons before I stick the whole thing down. Um, because... Obviously, I won't be able to sew the buttons once I've stuck everything down. Could have those little buttons there like that. Um, maybe have a button up there or down there. I need to decide whether I want these flowers on here or not. No, I wanted that one in the middle, didn't I? Do I want these flowers on here or not? They could be poked somewhere like that. And then I had these roses. Do I still want these roses? So initially I was thinking I was going to stitch um, this fabric behind this button um, so you could just wrap it around the book and then wrap it around the button but I really wanted a bow on this. I feel like it needs a nice soft bow on this journal so that's why I changed my mind about that. I'm still thinking about these flowers and about this flower. Oh maybe I could... Ah stick that on there that would look nice and then maybe I'll chop this this one off maybe we don't need that one and I've still got this lovely I might put that one on because it's got a bit more colour to it than this one and we'll have those three down there so I'm going to sew those three buttons on and then I'm going to stick everything down so you probably don't need to watch me do that. So I will, the, the, the light's fading fast. I've had to turn the light on overhead 
so I'm not sure how shadowy this is going to be um, while I'm working. So, yeah, I'll stitch these on and then come back. Okie dokie. I've sewn those buttons on along there and then I've just tucked the stem of this flower through the lace. I've like put it in and then come back to the front again. So I'm going to stick that little rose on there with some art glitter glue and then I'm going to stick this whole thing on to the cover with some fabric glue and see how that holds. Um, if I leave it to dry and I think it's not, um, you know, it's not sticking well enough, um, I will come back with the hot glue gun and do it again. I think the, I think this isn't particularly heavy, so I think the fabric glue will work fine. This might be an issue, but we'll we'll have a go and see what happens. So I'm just popping a little bit of art glitter glue on that little rose and popping that there. So that's that. Let's bring the cover back in and see where we want this piece now. So and that's going to go on there like that. Uh, I need, I'm just going to grab my pinking shears just to do this edge. Sorry, I didn't realise that I didn't have them to hand. Um, so just to match that edge up roughly, I'll come along here. I mean, I'm not expecting everything and I don't want everything to sort of match up perfectly. That's not the idea. And then if I'm having that up there somewhere, I think my um, camera stand's moved with me getting up and getting down and fiddling about. So you're not quite in the right place. I do apologise. So let's have a bash at sticking this down then and see what happens. Just got a little thread there I need to snip off. Right, fabric glue. Let's pop some fabric glue down on the back of this. Oh, that's my stem of my flower coming through there. So I'm going to put fabric glue on the denser parts of the um, pattern so it won't be held down, you know, all the way round. There'll be a little bit of movement here and there, which I like as well. So it makes it a bit more dynamic. Um, so my arm is probably covering up what I'm doing you probably can't see what I'm doing but I'm literally just putting little dabs of glue on the parts of the lace that you can't see through and then obviously in the middle I can put a bit more glue because we've got the heart there so you're not going to see that anyway so I'll put a little bit of extra there a little bit of extra up the top there. And then I think that will do. So let's try and get this roughly where we want it. And I've just draped glue all over the bottom of the cover. Well done, Karen. Where's my dry wipe? So does that look about in the middle-ish? Get my flower to stick there. So obviously 
obviously that's going to need time to adhere properly but that's down for now and then I'm going to pop this up here just deciding where to actually glue it Do I want it lower down and over further? Do I want it up there? Yeah, I think I want it a bit lower down and over. So about there, I think. I hope you can see what I'm doing. Let's shove that up a little bit. I think you can see. So I'm going to pop some more fabric glue on the back of my little faux rosette. pop that about there and just lay these out vaguely where they're supposed to be so that if any glue is you know has had has run down and got on them at least they're gluing where they're going to be so that's on there where's my lid that's over there pop that out of the way for the moment don't need that I might need those so that is all there like that and then I was going to slide this over but I think I'll knock everything off if I do that this closure is going to come round and tie so it will hide a bit of what we've done, but then it will be a nice surprise, won't it? When, when you open the book, you get to see what's peeking underneath. So that will go there like that somehow. So I'm going to leave that off for now because I want everything to dry. And I will make a final decision about this once this is all dry and I can fiddle about with it. I'll decide whether that is actually going to look OK. Um, and if so, whether I'm going to fix it somehow or leave it loose. If I leave it loose, then whoever gets this journal can decide whether they want the closure on there or not. Or I might do the usual, <coughs> excuse me, pop a couple of holes in here um, and add the ribbon but I'm quite pleased with how that has come out you can see the buttons at the bottom my little scrappy heart in the middle my little flower and my little rosette so not you not something I would normally do but I love the way that's turned out so I hope you enjoyed watching that thank you for joining me today um not sure what the next video is going to be. I keep threatening to do a flip through of this, but then I keep finding more things I want to do to it. So it's uh, not finished yet, but I will be back again in a few days, no doubt, with something else for you to enjoy. <laughs> so if you did enjoy this video, please do consider subscribing if you're not already subscribed. Please give me a thumbs up. Um, it really does help my channel if you can show a little bit of love. It tells YouTube that you like it and to show it to more people. Um, and I will be back again with you soon, as I say. In the meantime, take care, look after yourselves and enjoy your own crafty time. Bye.